Hi, this is I Love Wildlife 7, and this video clip will be on Russian tortoise diet, or tortoise diet in general. So let's begin. Right here, I have some Zoomed natural grassland tortoise food, and I actually have the original container it came in in the store. So here it is. Zoomed natural grassland tortoise food with added vitamins and minerals the correct high fiber diet for all grassland tourist species such as Russian, sulcata, leopard, pancake, Greek, Hermans, desert tortoises, etc. No artificial preservatives, colors, or flavors. And it also promotes no pyramiding. And it contains 15 ounces. The feeding instructions say you can feed free choice and change daily. Moisten pellets with water to stimulate feeding behavior and create a flavorful mash that tortoises love. Many tortoises enjoy lettuce. However, diets made of mostly lettuce are naturally high in protein and low in fiber. If your tortoise will only eat lettuce, thoroughly mix small amounts of lettuce into moistened natural grassland tortoise food and slowly reduce the amount of lettuce offered at each feeding until your tortoise has switched over to natural grassland tortoise food. Always provide clean drinking water, and you can use Zoomed's Reptile Safe Water Conditioner to treat tap water. And I also have the Reptile Safe Conditioner right here. And it comes in a 8 ounce bottle. And it says Zoomed's Reptile Safe Instant Terrarium Water Conditioner, new and improved. Water conditioner for all snakes. Lizards, turtles, tortoises, amphibians, hermit crabs, and a lot of other reptiles as well. It also says instantly removes chlorine, removes ammonia, and helps prevent it from accumulation. Um, adds aids in rehydrating new arrivals, stimulates slime coat, reduces pH. And this is just a good additive to water. So your tortoise or reptile can have healthy water so they don't get sick because they can have diarrhea. Now back to food. Any other choice you can have for your tortoise or reptile is the number two reptile munchies vegetable. And this is from Zoomed. And it has some peas, some cucumbers, some carrots, and a lot of other vegetables. Now this is for all species of reptiles. And this is not just only for tortoises, so it is a good mix. Now the ne next mix I have is the fruit munchies from Zoomed. And if you use this for tortoises, I wouldn't use this a lot, but this could be used as a treat. Now, if you're going to use this as a treat, I would say you should feed it to them at least twice a month if you want to, but you could always provide less. Now, the thing with sweets or treats or even fruits, they can't digest sugar that well, so I would recommend only giving this, you know, one once or twice a month at, at least or I wouldn't recommend feeding any more. And some things that I don't have on hand is dandelion greens. Now if your tortoise has diarrhea this will help him relieve himself better because it has a lot of added vitamins and minerals that some tortoise foods cannot provide. And the leaves on the dandelion greens are very high in fiber, so that is a really good choice. Now, apple slices. Like I said, apple slices are high in sugar, and you only want to feed it to them once or twice a month only, at least. And if you feed it even more, your tortoise will have diarrhea or get sick off of that. Now, aloe leaves. In my other video, I did describe aloe leaves and apple slices, but just if you didn't see that video, aloe leaves are a good treat for them, and 
You don't have to use it in moderation as you would apple slices, but it still is a treat, and you shouldn't go over that treat. So yeah, that is two good treats for your tortoises right here. One, two. That's a really good treat for them. Now the last thing I have, well, two last things, is the Vitra Plus vitamins and I got this from the vet but you can get it from a store and you should use half a teaspoon to one teaspoon per day and this helps their vitamin growth for their shells or any other part of their body so this just gives them a lot of added vitamins and minerals that they wouldn't be getting and when I went to the vet they did say I should use this more than just natural greens from the grocery store because it has more vitamins and minerals. So I actually switched over to this. And it took him a while to actually like this brand, but he does now. And when you do get this brand, always read the feeding instructions like I said earlier in the video. So this helps a lot. And always read the instructions because if you don't, you could be doing some things wrong. And, and when I first got my tours, I was doing a few things wrong. So you actually just want to make sure that you're doing everything right for your tours because they can be a hard reptile to care for. Now, the last thing I have for the tortoise diet is the Calcium D3 by Exoterra. And this contains 1.4 ounces. And it says, for feeding instructions, blend one half tablespoon of Exoterra Calcium plus D3 powder supplement with one half tablespoon of Exoterra my multivitamin powder supplement. Now, you don't have to do that. You just want to sprinkle it over a teaspoon, but you can also do it this way. But I just sprinkle it over with a little bit of a teaspoon just to be safe. But... Always follow instructions, like I say, but any way that, like, any way that you think would be right, I'm just not telling you how to do it, but any way that you think would be right for your reptile and you have a specific way of doing things, then that should work. But this is just a little reference on the back of the thing, so, yeah. Now, one last thing I have to say is I got a picture of a Russian tortoise logo and it was really nice so I'm not sure if you want me to say your name but you know who you are if you're watching this so thanks and before I go I got a Russian tortoise guide care sheet if you want to say from Peko and when you're a first pet owner of a Russian tortoise, a turtle, I would recommend going on there because it gives you a lot of information like shopping list for needed supplies, sources. Um, it also says the small tortoise enjoys burrowing, roaming around its habitat. They can become tame and friendly with gentle handling with a long lifespan. Expect your Russian tortoise to be a companion for life. And it gives Russian tortoise facts. Um, normal behavior, signs of a healthy animal, etc. Um, but I just want you guys to know that, that there's a lot of information out there and there's a lot of things you can do with your tortoise. So, yeah. Um, just remember that if you have any ideas of a video that you would like me to do, always request. I could always use video ideas. And, yeah. So, like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks. Bye.